We are sugar. We are cotton. We are tobacco. We are Lloyds of London. We are the Bank of England. We are Barron's Bank. We are Barclays Bank. We are narcotics. We are commerce. We are contraband. We are the global economy's unquantifiable algorithm. We are the ground you walk on. We are karma at 180 degrees. We are a tracking device strapped to God's back. We are moving in mysterious ways. We are watermelon. We are the oil your grandmothers used to fry chicken in your kitchen. We are the grease on your fingers. You lick my sisters off your lips. You spit out my brother's bones. We are guilt. We are gossip. And we are your closet. And we've been holding your skeleton safe beneath our tongues like Pocahontas immortalized through the scalps of black girls with Indian hair. It has to be disturbing. It must be painful. It must hurt for you to look at us knowing that after all these years, all these generations, all your scientific theories of ethnic inferiority, all your lynchings, all your slander, all your propaganda, all your spilling of innocent blood, all your human engineered disparity, after all the lies you've trickled down to your descendants, after you've worked so hard, you are still unable to deny our beauty. Melanin strips European intelligence down to arrogance, shallow. The deepest thought conjured up by the racist mind only goes skin deep, delightful. To know a tenth of an inch thick of brown is all it takes to pull you out of character. Reminder, my skin is not your gun license. My skin is not your right to bear arms. My skin is not probable cause. And no, I am not nigger. I am not negro. I am not colored, I'm not the minority, I'm not African American, I'm not black. You, you say you don't like me, yet you alter yourself to look just like me. Mm. I'm the one thing you refuse to admit. I am beautiful. Thank you, y'all. So it's white cranberry tea, and then it was infused with citrus, peaches, tangerines, and it was all done by a woman. You know, everything is. <laughs> but anyways, I want to raise a toast. This is very emotional for me. All the women that are pillars in my life are standing right in front of me. I don't want to cry. Where's Auntie Miss Lynn? She's sitting down. Okay, all right. You, you're on Colleen, you're right. You're right. Um, I just want to say thank you to everyone in this room for supporting me. Even the strangers on Instagram who always are supporting me in my DMs. They're here. He's right. He's one. He's here. Every day, he's like, okay, so what are we cooking today? Like, Shout out to y'all, man. Shout out to my homie. Shout out to Gabby. That's my coworker right there. JP in the building. Okay, whatever. Um, so let's raise our glasses to Wakanda, Black Excellence, and to JadeneCabrini.com. I love y'all. My name is Lisa Jane. Yeah. I of the breathing space. Yes. Woo, 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 woo. yes. A space in which Janine frequents. <laughs> and is a veteran. Yes. Um, Janine, when she was talking to me about um, coming together to announce her website and you know have her launch party, she asked me to help her with that because we will like to talk and we'll easily be on the phone or in person for like hours. <laughs> So just so you guys know, The Breathing Space is a conversation series that I do, um, bringing people together to basically bring conversation back to the social scene. You know, people get drunk and they just keep talking. So that's my plan. Tell me, Janine, you want to kind of talk to everyone about, you know, how you finally, how many years it has taken you to get to this point? Okay. Uh. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Thank you for coming. Hey. Hey. I really appreciate you guys. Um, my whole entire life is in this room. I think my oldest friend is from junior high school, Johanna, was here. Okay, um, so how did I get here? I was raised in a farm in Jamaica, so that's where my first—that <laughs> was my first relationship with food. Um, 
came to America, my mom cooked for anyone and everyone. The size of her pots can feed everyone in this room, and she only had one child, and she was a single mom. Um, so, you know, we were raised struggling or whatever, but the, the dinner table for me and my mother was always the place to escape. She would like see something on TV or read something in a newspaper and then she'll come home and create a meal that inspired her. Like, oh, Janine, I saw this. I'm going to make this for you. From there, I went to high school and I thought I was going to a business and for, uh, entrepreneur school, but it ended up being hospitality industry. Hospitality industries, hotel, restaurants, whatever. And my, um, my guidance counselor and my teacher was like, Janine, you have to go to college for this. I was like, oh, no, 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 I just love to eat. I'm really greedy. Y'all know I'm greedy. <laughs> so my teacher was like, no, no, no. So she like contacted schools um, in the city, and I ended up going to City Tech downtown Brooklyn, where I got my bachelor's degree in hospitality and a minor in understudy in culinary, French culinary services, uh, not services, culinary arts, excuse me. Um, and in college, my professor was like, you need to do this professionally. And I'm like, really? I want to be an accountant? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> no, seriously, I really want to be an accountant. Um, and he was like, well, if you're going to be an accountant, then you need to start a business on the side. So I started a business in college, just catering parties. I was always cooking at my family's house. Um, shout out to Auntie Miss Lynn, she's in the back. She always be like, cook me something new. And I'm like, all right, cool. And then I'll come up with these. Actually, the chicken you're going to eat today, mustard basil chicken, came from an inspiration from my aunt. We were in the grocery store, and she was like, I want something different. And I was like, all right, I got you. And we did that. That was my first recipe I wrote. So once again, shout out to Auntie Misslin. Um, and yeah, so as many of you know, I am not a... Yes, I am very talkative and very personable, but I'm very shy. Like all this attention is like I'm shaking right now. Um, You're so, good. <laughs> thank you, Lacon. Um, and so I've had my business for four years, but I just never went public because I didn't want the attention. Um, I would cook for my friends; they would come over and eat. You got. It. <laughs> um, but I would I I I hated like people were like why don't you post your food on Instagram why don't you and I'm like mm, this is just something personal and my best friend Swanky she was like it's time she was like it's time you need to build your website and it's time so I think that was like August of last year and I was like all right I'll shop in and look into it and then one of my sisters Tina <laughs> shout out to Tina exotic goddess. Um, <laughs> She was like, okay, we're going to write down our goals and our dreams for the rest of the year. And she literally, like, every morning she would text me. She would talk to me about it. And um, I was like, all right, fine. I guess this is time. So I bought the, um, the domain and for four and a half months every day. I, I mean, some of you don't know. I work in the financial industry, and that's my day job. Um, and while running the business, I would go to work, come home, and every day I would work on a little part of the website every day, every day. And then I would like put it down. I'm like, no, 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 this is too much. And then my friends would be like, no, 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 you need to do this. And then boom, here we are. <laughs> Within that boom, because we talked about this, you know, you had an idea. You might have, I wouldn't say you abandoned the idea, but like that probably looks familiar to us. Like we have these passions, these dreams where we want something for ourselves outside of our jobs, yep. where we kind of just like put it, you know, put it to the side and like kind of neglect it a little bit, you know? Yeah. What did that look like when you came, you know, came back to your idea when you wanted to revisit it? Um, I think it was. Last year, Obama made a speech. Um, it was, I think, it was his first like big the speech he got like for half a mil, and people were upset about it. And he said in the speech, he was just like, you know, we are at a point in our history in America where the predisposition of this country is occurring, and it's either you're in or you're out. And I was like, uh huh. Okay. No, since I was just like, uh-huh. And then Oprah made a speech 
talking about the same thing along the same lines. And then Tasia, Tasia, my friend Tasia, she's she's bomb as hell. Um, she was like, Jenny, all right, so you did, like last year I accomplished my goals or whatever. And she's like, she she's the type of friend she'll be like, she'll be like, okay, so what's next? And I'll be like, oh, um, you know, I'm about to get this new job, whatever. She's like, okay, and what about your cooking and stuff? And I'm just like, oh yeah, about that. You know? So it's, it was just that microaggressions from my life. <laughs> no, good microaggressions. Good microaggressions. You know, like, my the people around you, like my village, I think that's very important in you um, administering your dreams. Like, my village of people, they don't play. Like, I have to be careful what I mention to my friends. Because they give you, like, a week, and then they'll call you, like, so... You said you'll do this on January 19th, today's the 22nd, what happened? I have, no, I'm not laughing, I have those friends, they're all here. They're all here, they're looking at me like, no, that's what I'm saying, you need that, you need that. Um, shout out to my sister in the back, Mandisa. If I, it's also dangerous if you have those friends, because Mandisa, my sister, she, I'll tell her, you know, I want to build a skyscraper. And she's like, well, you need to contact these people, and this is what you need to do in order to accomplish this skyscraper. And then a month later, she'll be like, what about this skyscraper? And I'm like, oh, God, I said that. So, you know, that microaggression from my village, I, you know, ever since I put it out into the atmosphere about this website, they have not left me alone. Cassandra, this photographer right here, she looks cute, but she will curse you out for your own dreams. Okay. Yeah. You just did that to me though. When you oh. came to me with breathing space, you're like, okay, so Lisa, have you contacted with the bad boy? Have we done this? Have we done that? And I'm like, yeah. So give me a second. Let me let me do this flyer real quick. Let me do this real quick. So honestly, if y'all have those kind of friends, I don't know. Y'all need to get it together. You're losing. You're losing. <laughs> um, you did mention that we will be eating, and if some of you guys found out about tonight's event on Instagram. I've mentioned that you know, we're going to have a full menu. <laughs> um, do you want to tell everyone what we'll be having? Yes. Okay, so who here is vegan vegetarian? Oh, yes. <laughs> Not new found vegetarians. Practicing <laughs> <laughs> vegan. The ones that have it in their Instagram bio. Right. Um, so we're going to have a tricolored pasta with kale and charred Brussels sprouts and an apple cider vinaigrette. That's vegetarian. Um, or pescatarians, because I'm a vegan pescatarian. Um, shout out to you. Um, we're going to have seared scallops and a lentil salad. Um, and for chicken, we have two options. We have the mustard basil chicken paired with couscous. And then we have a Thai red curry chicken with mm. spring vegetables. Mm.